people going in there to keep track. And then I told him my phone mm, tablet. Did you? Right. Oh, he smokes it worked. Whoa. It worked. I'll be. Oh gosh. <laughs> Good. Now that we've successfully infiltrated, we can start talking yeah. about Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what oh do you mean, God, you nerd? What are you? Some kind of nerd? Oh my God! People are leaving after I said Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> like now you've done it. I've done oh my it. Oh God! Sprigatito in the audience. There, I see you. <laughs> Sprigatito. Burn it. Burn it. You need to open up my, my gifts on Pokemon Go. I'm to- oh my <laughs> god, I forgot! Yeah, you have to open it so I can Man, send you... It really was not letting me drag y'all in. And it's from that tea place we went to. I've been saving it for you since we oh saw my each gosh. other. Uh, oh, I'll, I'll fix that right now. Open your app. With that said... Hello, Hi. everybody. Welcome to day two of Sonic Revolution 2023 Digital. My name is Dustin the Wind. I'm joined by my good friend... Chris, Chaos the Protectors, and we are here with Hello. my good friends, Ovas. Hello. Hello. We're the Ovas. Hello. Us. We do Hello. the things. We, we, we do but, the things with, with, with the Pokemans. And the voices. <laughs> we are the Omni VA. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> There's a so, studio in there somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. It's somewhere in there. Just want to lay down a couple of ground rules for y'all over there in the chat. Uh, same general rules as applied through the server. Apply here to the meet and greet. Remember, we are limiting it to a one question per person. So that way we give everybody a chance to come on up. We'll be reading from both the text chat and uh, taking requests to speak. So, uh, yeah. There we go. That's about all there is to it. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Death. Yeah, not a okay. problem. Not a problem at all. Took me a second to find the text. It's uh, the one that says Chrono Stage Room, right? That one? Yeah, yes, sir. I guess what we're looking at. Oh, the, the one that's currently being invaded by, ah, uh, yes, there's a Digimon fan in here. Finally, a kindred spirit. <laughs> <laughs> like, somebody doesn't understand. <laughs> <laughs> like somebody that understands. At last, someone who understands me. <laughs> Your people so where's are that from? Here. Digimon! <laughs> Digimon, but where? where? Literally, <laughs> Digimon. It's just, it's just all encompassing. If you're Which talking season? about, if you're, if you're wanting me to like name the GIF there, I guess. Uh, let's see. That the first one there is from Digimon the movie. God, I feel bad for that movie. And then the other one there movie. is just a digital rendition of uh, oh, what was it? Digimon Adventure Reboot. Uh, I think that's Pikachu. Um, Omega Mon Alter S. And then down there, <laughs> it's just a clapping Pikachu. Look at them claps. That's not a Digimon. It's so happy. <laughs> it looks, I mean, if you keep it so with a Pokeball, it's digital. It's a Digimon. Are you saying that Pokemon oh, and Digimon are Come the on. same thing? Listen, if Porygon exists, there's a digital world. If there's a digital world, there are Digimon. They can cross over anytime they want. Leave you alone. <laughs> <laughs> so Mega Man Battle Network is in the same universe. Then. Technically, yeah. You know what? Yeah, this is starting we to sound like Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> It's not Mega Man, it's Mega Mon. Get out of here. <laughs> We're in the call. Whoa. Anyway, Jack, do you want to leave this in there? Sorry. Um, let's see here. Let's see if, we, if anybody has raised their hands yet. Sometimes it takes it. Yep, we have uh, Yoshi Tales 13, our very own. Come on up, my friend. Hi, everyone. No. Hello. 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 I guess um, my my question. So, of course, since you guys were talking about Pokemon, um, what are you guys' favorite moments for voicing in the Mew and Mewtwo dubs? Ooh. I guess we'll start at the top here and just work our way down. KN. Yeah, we'll start with you, KN. Oh God! I clicked on something where I shouldn't be. Where am I? Uh, we oh. Oh. Oh, my God. What's happening? Careful. Careful. I, I wish your phrasing was better there. Oh. <laughs> I don't even know what I said, but it tried to put me in the chaos stage room and I got real confused. Anyway, I think I'm just going to not touch anything. I don't know. It's hard to say. There's been a a lot just like reading through the scripts and seeing what kind of strange cursed things TC has drawn for us to perform. It's uh, it's always a good time. Uh, And then just seeing how it comes together. It's really hard to pick like just a single moment, though, because like all of them are really good. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Thank you to the editors for going Thank through the, the work of getting the timing dead on. 
I mean, one of the recent ones had like the crispiest mew I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> 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 just seeing the way the mew was drawn in that panel, I laughed. So, <laughs> I mean, if I were to think of one for Newt, it would have to be the uh, grimace shake. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God, yes. <laughs> okay, Vince. Me. I barely yes, had any you. lines. What do you mean? <laughs> you're okay, here Huey. With us. Okay, fine. I'll pick yeah, one for you. You're having a strong Huey arc right now. <laughs> yeah, my, teen- strong- my teenage son is out there about to battle his <laughs> uncle potentially to the death. There's oh. drama here. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, guess, I guess that's the big. I guess that's the personal favorite. There. It's like after doing nothing but meme posts with the voice. It's like okay, I get to do a funny haha voice. Then there's there's James over here coaching me on. Please help me sound shonen. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to sound <laughs> cool. I only know how to sound like a jokester. Help! Help! <laughs> you had a really good scene crying over me almost dying. You have great <laughs> moments, Vince. <laughs> <laughs> especially smoothie roasting Mewtwo. No smoothie. Oh, yeah, that was the best one. The smoothie rant. Oh no! Oh, what is what? my name? What is my name? <laughs> Good times. Nathan? Uh, I don't have too many to pick from. My picks are kind of limited. I, I I think my absolute favorite though was one of the narrations. Uh, it was. Um, what was it reading the question and we're just yelling top volume at uh, you and you two? <laughs> Why are they so wired? They're so Why wired. are you so wired? <laughs> it's like all this misspelling and just yelling it out and getting to do that was like the most fun I've had with uh, any of the voiceover stuff for me and you two. And that's without a doubt my absolute favorite pick. There we go. Shenanza. Uh, me? I'm gonna have to say ooh. On top of my head again, I can't think of a scene, but I always have a lot of fun whatever I am yelling as Ash. And then in the booth I usually end up getting a fumble, so I'll end up saying something that's really not appropriate for Ash. <gasps> sometimes it's funny, sometimes it's just stupid. I still but... remember the cheese test. Cheese yep. <laughs> Cheese test! Oh. Yep. Those but are always shun. fun. I always hmm? remember the Universal Mew Translator, Professor Mew. <laughs> you know what? That's, oh, a, that's yeah. a pretty good contender for it because it's, <laughs> it's just useful. So how how do Mewtwo and Mewtwo get their kids? Where's the father and the mother? Flower. You must yeah. understand. They pollinate like bees. Every time we see that question in the chat, don't make us tap the video again. That's exactly. Uh, Sush. Sush. My favorite moment is a meme. The one that we <laughs> shot in Vegas. It's like, oh, but I am. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, Viva oh, Las Vegas. It, I think was, that's where Mew Me Too peaked. It was so <laughs> impromptu. Honestly. Like, Shannon and I went, like, and James, I guess, went to Vegas and we shot that. And, uh, TC just ended up drying over it because it was that funny. Yeah, within two hours, we just stopped on the side of a street after getting slapper cards on, what was it? It was next to the big old fountain. We're just like, here, let's get a video of this. And then you started doing Huey voices, and I responded in kind. Yeah, And it was just a meme. Yep. It was great. And TC did it within like two hours of us all being a call together. It was great. Yep, we watched it happen. We watched the magic. Did it live! <laughs> She did, actually. Yeah. It was great. <laughs> and she drew, right, like, James. the chocolate rocks. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. James. Um, mine's actually, like, not any of the major characters or even the ask questions that I read off sometimes. It's more whenever Lugia shows up. And Lugia doesn't have any lines ever, but <laughs> I somehow have decided to make Lugia just critical <laughs> moist Lugia <laughs> I thought you voiced some of the other legendaries a few of them yeah yeah oh yeah. is it me Arceus is it me Arceus no 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 is it, is it if I had a mouth I'd spit on you that's his favorite moment oh, oh god I have chosen oh. okay <laughs> 
Yeah, that's that's where I peaked. I guess. <laughs> like you could go belly up from here, but we made it there. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, we got to the top of the mountain. That was, a fun, ep- that was a fun episode. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, right, thank you so much for answering my question. You guys stay awesome. You 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 guys put a lot of effort with your work. Gee. Thank you. Also, thank and you. also, also tell Wolf Wade I said hi. Oh, for sure. He will once he gets yeah. home. He should All be right. driving safe on the road. Yeah. <laughs> Drive safe with Wolf. Wolfie, right. baby, yeah. come on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, dear. Bye. Bye. Bye bye. Thank you much there, Noah. Appreciate you. Uh, Chris, you want to bring up our next, uh, our next uh, audience question? I'll bring up Unitato Productions. Unitato Productions, bring. come on down. Bring forth the next victim. Uh, hang on. The next there victim, oh god. Right. <laughs> All right, it's just a call, don't worry about oh it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm Hello. sorry. Hello. Hello. Welcome Hello. to the sacrificial Hello. altar. I need to freaking like process this, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Your profile pic is very cute. Oh, thank you. I drew it myself. Oh, oh that's amazing. Like, oh, I like, like it. Really good. Thank you. Like, what is it? <laughs> Sorry, I tried to process this because, like, I'm like, uh, sorry, I, I, I'm trying, I'm trying my best not to embarrass myself because, like, God, <laughs> breathe in, take take breathe breath. out. <laughs> oh my God! Sorry, sorry. Yes, I am. <laughs> but yeah, like, what is it? Um, first, first off, I just want to say I'm big fans of you guys. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And uh, what is? I'm sorry if I don't. If I'm ch- mm, you want to take one step at a time. Yeah. It happens. All right. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. You need some time. Uh no, hang on. I got it. I got it. Right. But yeah, uh, I do have a question for you guys. Um, so, aside from the voices that like everyone recognizes you as, like, I'm like what? voices like do you like doing like like aside from like the ones that people recognize you i sorry if i repeated that but you know like think of like obscure characters that like nobody knows about or probably ones that that people like just like you know okay oh we're gonna have to dig uh, deep right. on this one <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's a good time. yeah. <laughs> apologies <laughs> if it's complicated <laughs> no it's fine it's a good uh, one, probably yeah. time so james you go first mr james <laughs> Oh um, my gosh, James. Okay, so um, <laughs> besides the stuff I, I voiced in uh, Mew and Mewtwo and Ovas and Sonic Song, it's a. Uh, I used to do a lot of a uh, a lot of um, comic dubs for Overwatch, and uh, oh yeah, so those there was uh, there was one of the characters who was a big German guy named Reinhardt. And oh he God. always sounds like this, and it's the most fun I've ever had. <laughs> that is so oh accurate, God. though, God. Sir, that is, that is uncanny. That's really yeah. accurate, Reinhardt. Gosh. <laughs> Somebody who's and, played uh, Overwatch, I'm getting war flashbacks. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I stopped playing it for a while. <laughs> but, but go ahead, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah it, it was really fun. I even got to the point where I sang a cover of Hello by Adele with him. How very dare you? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hang on. Do you it, have? <laughs> it, the video did very poorly, but anyway. Oh. Uh, it's still up, though. It's still it's the effort that counts. <laughs> Don't okay, worry. I'm going to find it, it later. We're going to boost <laughs> that. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, Sush. Oh, man. It, it's funny because every single time I do any other voice now, it's like, oh my god, that's Huey! It's like, every, every it's like, I did Mabel, it's like, oh my god, Huey is voicing Mabel! Uh, but I think, I, I think, uh, another character that I really like voicing is Weedala, like, that kind of voice. It's mm. like, oh no. you know? <laughs> it, I don't it, think it even came went. through. <laughs> Discord you're, you're, cut it off. It, you're you're your off. Uh, here, here, here. Curse you, you're, Discord! No, 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 no. Um, mute yourself, and come over here to my mic. <gasps> Are you here, Oh god! There it is. There it is. There it is. There is. Is that is that like a natural vibrato you can just summon at will to yourself? Yes. 
Sometimes I'm in the it. booth just like shaking. Oh my god. It definitely <laughs> oh, helps. Geez. Oh yeah. Literally shaking. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that, that's me. I like I like Weedle a voice, but Huey is my typecast now. Hey. Shnet. Shnet. Oh boy. Uh my favorite voice recently has one I haven't really I guess a word is debuted yet, but I've been having a lot of fun. It's a combination oh. of my Ash voice and my D&D character's voice, uh, Shuka, the one that's on my profile picture. And recently, at work, because I talk a lot, <laughs> it strains my voice. And I've been somehow managing, I don't know how, I'm still figuring out the kinks, but there's a particular, I guess, chord in my voice that lets me do a perfect Alex Brightman Beetlejuice impression. <laughs> and ever since, in these past few oh, days dang. at work... I have been able to just maintain the voice and tend to customers, and it freaks them out every time. Because they'll see this nice people juice. Oh yeah, you see this nice girl coming up, and then they approach, and then it just sounds something like this. Oh my! (laughs) Obviously, not the best impression. It's more Ash than anything, but Mm -hmm. Ash is also a lot of fun to voice. It used to be a pain back when I first started doing Mew and Mewtwo. But now it just comes so naturally. I can just flip it on like a switch. And it doesn't hurt my voice anymore. So I've been applying that to other voices, such as Beetlejuice and my D&D character and so on. So that gravel, any voice with that, is just a lot of fun. Nate. Oh, man, it's going to be a bit of a hard pick here. Uh, (laughs) There are two that I have very fond memories of. Uh, The first one... Being so before we did a lot of Ova stuff, I was putting up a lot of miraculous Ladybug comic dubs on the channel. Uh, that was really? back when season one of the show was airing. Uh, and that was like, uh, that was like the period of time where like my skills in acting really started improving. Listening back to like a lot of the voice stuff, it originally started off as an impression, kind of became its own thing. Listening back on it now, I'm like, eh, maybe I'll change it, but I have a soft spot for all that stuff. The old cat noir voice i was doing for those dumb little comics uh Mm -hmm. a really soft spot for that because that's like where the channel got its first a little bit of growth from uh but for something more recently there was a a mod for a video game called dnf duel that i voiced in i did um a character called berserker he was nothing but yelling and shouting and i'm pretty sure oh dear i damaged my throat for a little bit there just imagine like um getting to laugh like crazy shout like really let loose i'd always wanted a role like that that's like one that i'll definitely put down as a favorite just seeing the crazy laugh like Oh my god. Grabbing oh my someone, god. throwing them to the ground. Oh, actually seeing an action. So, ah, I was so excited. I've never been excited for a role like that before. Uh, so, that's definitely one that, um, that I would consider a favorite as well. Those two, uh, Cat Noir from the memories, um, Berserker, just for how fun it was to let loose, as difficult as a whole role was. You were very proud of it, and you should be. Like, that was genuinely really good, Nate. Mm. I think it, I, I consider it probably my best performance I've ever put out there. <laughs> Rightfully so. The Beats voice it. hurts so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't look at me. Uh, up until <laughs> uh, up until Ovas, I really didn't have anything really going. Uh, so nonsense. Skip. <laughs> no, no. You're not I allowed. Do. You do other mm-hmm. things only if you're comfortable. Only if you're Does comfortable. Anybody, but you believe your hey. lies. <laughs> Even if he isn't comfortable about it, Nate, I mean, Vince, spit it out. You are our DM in D&D. You do a lot of funny voices. D- oh, D- oh, my D- God. D- yeah, Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. Oh, I know. Uh, yeah, I so, so whenever we're doing, D- like, uh, Dungeons and Dragons uh, for our, our uh, podcast streams, <laughs> uh, Tavern Steep, we... I usually have to like put on as many different voices as humanly possible. I feel awful when I realize that some of the voices sound exactly the same, but the ones that I get to have fun with are the ones that are a little bit more exaggerated, like the deep Scot, like the deep Scottish or even Irish accents that sometimes come out of Harsk, a dwarf ranger they met, Ooh. or the more exaggerated pirates when they were in Riddleport. Um, and then there are just the moments where we just have gremlins, which has stuck with me like uh, an, a person we affectionately refer to as the Scribbler. There was no affection in referring to him the at scribbler. all. The Scribbler. I love the Scribbler. 
He's I just a, he's just way. a gremlin man who is stuck in a in a room for years and years by himself. All he could do was scrawl on the walls the things that came to his head. And when the party met him for the first could have conversations with someone, he referred to them as his little sucklings <laughs> and so on. Oh, oh dear goodness gracious. It was such a oh, meme. I love this guy. <laughs> Hello, sucklings. It was just Stop. Oh, oh, <laughs> About to lose my job. About to lose my job. About to lose my job. D and D is fun. <laughs> I gotta play more of it, man. It's good. Do. Okay, right, Dan. Dan. Well, mm-hmm. golly, I uh, I really don't do very many voices outside of what I do for Sonic Song, as uh, so, like the my Sonic universe situation and then uh new to over on ova so i don't have like a lot of modern things to reference since that's really all i do these days but i guess uh back in the back in the day when youtube was a lot newer it was like in 2007 and so you know there weren't very many established fancy voice acting things to do i would just audition for freaking everything but because there weren't very many of us and i was at least a competent ish actress I was get, I got cast as all kinds of weird stuff that I don't think I can actually do the voices for these things. But they were like, we need people and we think you sound good enough. So I was like, and a lot of these projects never actually came out, even though I submitted lines for them. Uh, at one point, I was like uh, Kid Kovu in a Lion King 2 fandom that never actually happened. Oh, God, was, Lion uh, King. I was um, <laughs> going to be Sailor Venus in a project that had clips come out uh, from Sailor Moon, but uh, those since got, I think, turbo destroyed by the <laughs> by the mm. license owners. Um, I did some voices for some Final Fantasy fan dubs, only in certain <laughs> scenes. I didn't get to nearly as much of that as I wanted to. I would have loved to have done lots of characters for that. I remember, though, I did mm. do Eris at one point from uh, some FF7 clips. Um, I was Queena from Final Fantasy IX, and that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And I also did, like, I was in a lot of original projects back in the day. The one that was really good that survives to this day, I wasn't called Sonic Song back then. Again, this was back in 2007. Really? This was pre-Sonic Song, which I started in 2008. Oh. Uh, there was this audio drama. It was an original audio drama called The Aviation Waltz. And I ended up playing the lead in that one. So it's a lot of me narrating the story and then also uh, performing as like the main character, uh, Scylla's dialogue. And that was a lot of fun. When I first auditioned, the uh, person was thinking at first, like, oh, let's uh, let's have KN audition for this. And I've got like this small role here that I think would be really good. And so I was expecting it like the little the little character and she was cool. I liked her a lot. And then when the castles came out, it's like, oh, actually, we'd like you to play the lead. Like, what? OK, here we go. And so that's the one like really like nice, polished thing that still survives from like my ancient YouTuber days. Uh, so that's <laughs> the thing I can think of from like pre Sonic song that I think I was the most proud of. <laughs> nice. Uh, so then you remember nice. the good old days. Rate me five stars. <laughs> oh god, video replies. Video, video replies. replies. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Comment section was on the right. No, the left. Now it's at the bottom. <laughs> oh goodness god. gracious. <laughs> Why? Hey, well, thank you so it much for your day. question. Excuse oh, me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's a fun little trip down memory lane. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, well, thank you for having me up here. It also and answering my question. You guys are really awesome and keep doing what you guys are like keep being awesome essentially and i hope you have a great day thank you mm, so much thank you, uh, thank you. you really too thank you this have really made my day time. thank you oh welcome take care <laughs> you take too. care thank you gotta love it gotta love it got to love it thank you unitato for the very interesting question actually <laughs> mm-hmm. um Sean, um you can pick somebody to come on up next me uh yeah, you. <laughs> okay I see three. Okay, so I'm just gonna do Ula Dula Doff, Kinkalone Koff, Koffalone Binky Bonny, Ula Dula Doff. Faith. Faith. What's that? It was Swedish, eeny meeny miny mo. Oh! Oh, okay. <laughs> it is, yeah. Oh, wow. You, 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 
I didn't I learned from words. Cutie Pie back in the day oh, when I was a wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's like and then I was picked. back then all day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. We were summoning a demon. Was that hey. your way of summoning me? <laughs> yes. yes. It's just Giuseppe. <laughs> hello, welcome to gibberish. <laughs> hello, hello, everybody in here. Uh, thank you for picking me. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I have a question for, well, I mean, it's kind of based for all of you because, um, for me personally, I like wish to one day partake in like the voice acting career. Hopefully it all goes well. And um, I just want to know, like out of all the projects you've done, or it could just be for like as the Sonic Heroes because you all work together. But how many times were you like having to like, I guess, improv like for certain situations? Like are, were any of them scripted like of, of your lines or was it just strictly improv? And what was your favorite line? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <Uh-oh. laughs> that depends very heavily on the project. Oh no, no, I'm snickering because it's like, ah, hey, uh, we we get this lovely little DM from from KN. Hey, we need you for Ask the Sonic Heroes. Nothing but improv. Yeah, brilliant. I mean, if it if it helps at all, I very rarely give scripts uh, when we're doing stuff over on my channel. Like I did for like we did like a Sonic Chefs where Vince got to have some scripted grounder lines. But that was like the first time in a freaking long time. Most of the time, we're just like, here, guys, come on in. And then we all have to improvise answers to uh, the questions that we get on that show. So that's like fully improvised. And it's hard to remember what has happened because it's a lot of uh, zaniness from the crew. And that it like you only remember the like the messed up weird things you had to say <laughs> when you're actually like rewatching it. You're like, what? When did I say that? And all the stuff you know, that I'm thinking of right now is from like the current thing I'm working on, and I can't spoil it. So I'm like, oh, uh, what do I say? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely don't don't upsides spoil it. for sure. Yeah. It's that uh, because it's in a sense a conversation. The flow of the acting comes a lot more naturally. Uh, of course, you can only do one take, so you don't really get any chances to redo a take. But as a result of like bouncing off one another, the performance t- typically ends up being a lot more natural than sometimes it maybe would have been if you were reading it off a script. Because it yeah, is uh, a, a, def- a difficult skill, making a, something from a script come off naturally. It true. Especially if you're like not in the same room together, because there's a different kind of performance rapport you have when the person you're reading your script off with is like right in the room with you. And like you can look at each other and your body language communicates things like that. Totally. That like changes it up. But, you know, we all work together online, so it's a little like you don't quite have that same dynamic. Except sushi and schnun in Vegas. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> that was just impromptu I think the other that thing that was an improv yeah, that's a good one yeah that was improv and I guess the other thing as well like on Ovas because most of our stuff is scripted aside from that like d d in itself is in its way its own kind of just improv because mm-hmm. we all talk in character as me- as most as possible or best as possible that's the word I'm looking for as much as possible there yeah, we, possible. we like there we, yeah. we, we speak in character Oh, this sorry. one up because like wolf's not here but wolf's like vocal reactions to things uh like this has happened in their D podcast a number of times where he just will like <laughs> react to something with a sound that no one can interpret and like you never forget it i remember that one <laughs> It's so it's so good. It's like his brain just drifted him. off for like a solid five <laughs> seconds and he's tried to talk <laughs> I think you're trying to respond and speak at the same like you're trying to like emotionally respond to what you, the information you've been given you can't also fire off like your brain cells to say something i think that's what <laughs> happened to wolf yeah because mm-hmm. wolf is it's the definitely... funniest one with that stuff because <sighs> he will say something that is completely out of pocket for the character he's playing but he says it in the character voice or he will say something that's in character in his normal voice so then it flip-flops between the two so then we get to poke fun at him about it, and we get to say that Shakar had a brain stroke. Mm-hmm. And it's oh, absolutely husband. lovely. <laughs> and, and, what makes love it, it. and what makes it good is that we don't roll it back. It's like, if we're doing like improv for like a 
production, like something that's actually going to be turned and eventually edited down to a video. It's like, okay, let's roll that back and do something completely different. We'll have a new reaction to it and that. But when you're live playing D and D, it's like, whatever you say is concrete. If you say something stupid, stick to it. If you do something stupid, stick to it. No take backsies. <laughs> no you take backsies. Back during Tavern no Stage. Because it's like, it's literally live. They, they were there. They heard it. <laughs> like watching this six foot plus tall dragonborn fighting a goose to get his sword back. That was fun. <laughs> You're on camera. <laughs> Man, the new Skyrim model looks great. <laughs> <laughs> it, it does help Skyrim like a good bit of training and acting game. and timing and stuff like that though because from mm. doing it repeatedly you just get better at it over time mm -hmm. yeah that goes with anything and i think even a good number of voice actors who play D D, whether it be publicly or privately they pretty much use it as a good improv tool because it's like all right stay in character okay let's do something stupid keep to the voice say this thing that was not delivered well, but I'm going to roll with it. <laughs> it's it's just fun. It's a good improv tool. Mm -hmm. It's a good time. I like it. On a non uh, non live version of it, though, like uh, when it comes to Mew and Mewtwo for editing stuff, uh, Nate can relate to this one. Uh, most of the time, like we would uh, just have a text to speech for the questions, but sometimes we can narrate the things, and then you just. Uh, to fill in blanks, especially for just the uh, pictures, like compilations and stuff, like uh, sometimes just to f have something to be vocal in the scenes, like we can come up with a uh, random stuff to say to moist, moist yeah. Lugia. It adds yeah. a lot. <laughs> yeah. Woo, James yeah, Morse though than me has added a lot of that stuff, and oh my, he has such a good timing with it. Mm. He's got like a, a knack for that. Between the Arceus rant, the smoothie rant, I don't know who oh else has God, had a rant so far. Rant. <laughs> what do you yeah, mean? All I really you, did was scream. You had a rant at the end of her teaching session. What are you talking about? Oh yeah, that's right. I did. You, yeah, you told you told every every person who was even remotely attracted to a Pokemon to go to church. <laughs> yeah, that sounds all right. Oh gosh, <laughs> it fits within us. Old boss is not PG. We're like. PG-13 slash R, we're good. Nope, 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 it's a cursed God, place. Not even God can save us now. <laughs> <laughs> God saves you? Darcy is the one that put us First here. <laughs> if I had a mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Spit on you. <laughs> that, was, that was one of my favorite improv moments of all time. <laughs> Weren't you there when it happened? Yeah, but it's still funny. Uh. Good I think that wraps up that question, though. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you guys Thank for answering my question. You guys are amazing, but you already know that. Have a good day and have a good rest of Reba. Uh, bye, bye bye. Bye. Take care. <laughs> Thanks so much, there, Faith. Always good she, to hear from you. She's a silly little <laughs> goblin. <laughs> Absolutely. We, hey, we we did we wait. That wasn't summoning a demon. It was summoning a goblin. Now it makes sense. Um, here, I'm going to go to the text uh, questions for a second, because there was one earlier that I missed on uh, right here from Madeline Blue Star 7. Hi, Ovas. I was wondering, are you planning on continuing the series of audio dramas of the Sonic Channel stories? Ah, we never did was... finish that, did we? No, no. I think our last one was the Metal Sonic one, I want to say. And I think uh, it was either that or Shadow. Honestly, that yeah, was the best story, ones, though. Yeah. It was the best story in that whole collection, though, just because of the whole like Metal Sonic versus Sonic fight with Metal's perspective. It was cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, getting to mess around with the sound effects for that was a lot of fun. Um, we've kind of been focused on a lot of the other stuff we put on the channel so far, so that's kind of slipped by the wayside a little bit there. I do I miss doing the scripts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think there was a couple reasons. One, uh, it's just we ended up putting more focus into comic dramas, like the more visual side of things. We tend to have more fun with those and, you know, to actually just do some robot hijinks with that one. And also the stories ended up getting insanely long. Oh, yeah. They started <laughs> off at like five minutes per story. Yeah. And then there's like not more than double the length after that. And it's just started mm -hmm. taking up more and more time to work on. 
Uh, yeah. I don't think we have many left if we were to finish them. I think we got like maybe two, three. Not many, worse. not many left, but I will need a lot of water if I have to sit down and narrate all that. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. a lot of narration. It really is. But yeah, it went from like, something that we could do in a week to something it would take with all of our conflicting schedules combined. Like it would take at least a month. Mm-hmm. So I think that was like the major reason we might return to it. Who knows if there's enough. There's a lot more stories it. that have been posted since. So there's no shortage of content to work on there in terms of it. It's just yeah. kind of fitting it I in. Love to see that. Me, me, me just casually sliding the Digimon web novel to try to eclipse the Sonic web novels. <laughs> please, please, please. Get putting back and see if we get back to it. <laughs> I think that answers that. <laughs> yeah, that answers that. Answers that. Thank you uh, for that question right there. Um, looks like we got another one from the chat. Um, I might butcher the pronunciation, so please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, Fei Fei Pumpkin says to everyone, what was the... Oh, jeez. What's the funniest <laughs> voice crack you've ever had happen to you that you had to cut or add? <laughs> no, that's something oh right. here. Voice crack? Oh... Oh, baby two is all tucked in. I guess it's time for evening boobs. Boobs. What? Boobs. Oh, God. no. Say it. Let's get fired. <laughs> yeah, I think we're all going to get fired for that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's another one. <laughs> no. <laughs> The screaming count for the uh, <laughs> voice cracks. I'm pretty sure I had a number of those for some screaming oh, lines. Did you I'm not sure if you you can relate to this, but like uh, when it comes to voice cracks and screaming, uh, <sighs> this somehow happens to me a lot, and I'm sure other voice actors have experienced this. Like when you're trying to scream at the top of your lungs. And then suddenly hiccups, so you cannot get yes. a single no, good take. I hate that. <laughs> you try what? screaming, you get the hiccups, and then every time you try to like do a performance afterwards, the hiccup interrupts it. You can't breathe. You feel sick. And it's like, oh, dang, it, I gotta sit down for like 10, 15 minutes for this to go away. Nate's but like, hiccups are right own character, though. <laughs> ah, the, the <laughs> nickups, yes. Yeah. Those are different from the screaming hiccups, for real, though. When James, they, James knows you, the pain. What are you on about? You will get into a fit out of nowhere, and you'll have to redo a whole take. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, at least I can get the take, unlike the ones when I'm screaming. <laughs> Fair. Yeah. Okay, fair. Yeah, because like the way it happens, like you try to scream and then you just go like ah and then you cannot do a single one. And then you think it's done. You think it's over. You think you're safe. You're out of the woods. And then you try another take. And then it just comes back again. Yeah. And it's like, well, I guess I'll come back to it tomorrow because as I keep coming back, it just keeps coming back. <laughs> it didn't happen. Yeah, but when the voice voice crack comes in, it hurts. (laughs) Not so much a favorite, but when you hear it, like it works for the take really well, but also really hurts. (laughs) Hey, can you replicate that? No. No. (laughs) No. Pain was genuine. (laughs) What's also the worst when a, a voice crack and a take happens to be a good thing. We're like, oh, the character is nervous and you're trying to get a certain, I guess, vibrato is a term for it. You can correct me if I'm wrong, James, Nate or whoever, but it actually works for it and you get the perfect one. But for some reason, your audio equipment just wasn't working for you. Like you peak or something or it clips Uh, out and then you have to redo it. But then you can't redo it because it was involuntary voice crack and now you don't know what to do. Yeah, voice Oof. crack intentionally can be difficult, and making it sound good is difficult. That's the worst. You forget to record, or just like the peak, ruin, anything that ruins the take, a slight bump in the background audio. Mm-hmm. Oh. There's a lot of like technical uh, s- jargon in there that I could go into, but uh, I'd rather not bore everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I've got any iconic voice cracks. Like, you know, they're... If you if you hit it right, you hit it right. And if you don't, you don't really. I don't think that mine are very funny, but I guess I would say that I've gotten better at holding a long shout with like a voice like Tails because I live stream as this character so often and I play freaking scary games and stuff with Nate. <laughs> so 
I've gotten a little better at holding the sound, but that's coming naturally. I'm not trying to ham it up on purpose. I'm just screaming, but I've gotten good at keeping my voice while doing it. And oddly enough, I think I have benefited from that as a performer. Nice. See, see, but KN, with you, your 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 worst enemy isn't your voice cracks. Your worst enemy is the construction that goes outside your window. Oh, well, at yeah. least I moved now, so there's not. Yeah, I did, I kept having like motorcycles come by, so I yep. guess a lot of the yep. audio for um, you and you two is that new two's like, "Hello, here I am. I'm doing this up." Stop. Cycles. Okay, here we go. <laughs> that was a good catch. Or or during the during the fun Fridays, you get you get the motorcycles oh, come God, by. It's just a, it's just a routine to say shut up, motorcycles. Shut up, cars. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost too perfect. I love it. It's much quieter now. I guess like now it's just every once in a while, like a plane or something. It's I like I don't live on a busy street anymore, so that's good. The planes are paid actors now. They're part of the script. <laughs> <laughs> paid handsomely. Delta Airlines, where's my sponsorship, please? Where's my sponsorship? <laughs> <laughs> we well, Delta. In... We... Sorry, guys. No, go on. No, you. Go on, guys. Right. Right. As an audio editor, a lot of times I have to go through and do cleanup for everyone's audio. And... Uh, I think the funniest thing is like sometimes like uh, everyone will freak out about like the tiniest noise that most of the time isn't even picked up by the mic, but uh, most of the time it just gets drowned out anyway. So by like ambient noises and uh, background music and stuff like that. But it is funny sometimes hearing someone leaving their outtake in there complaining about the background noise that I can't even hear in the audio. <laughs> That's another good one when Hi, you're in the middle of recording. It's and me. Then <laughs> like it's up me. The door. I actually have like in this was on a live stream. So what you're going to do. But one of the times when we were playing like Among Us over on my channel, I was playing as Tails this one time and like Nate was the Nate was the killer as Sonic. Uh, but I was uh, I was doing my whole performance thing, and then you hear like a UPS in the background. <laughs> and then Nate comes around the corner and freaking kills me on the live. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> UPS. UPS is a paid actor. <laughs> I had your express I delivery of death. I just love how clear it is. Just UPS. <laughs> Was it that deep in tone too? So it doesn't even sound like Sonic. So <laughs> it definitely didn't sound like Sonic. It was like clearly just like a, a normal everyday average man just knocking on the door like across the room from me, and then Nate comes around the corner and like it kills me. Oh, like, I didn't I even know it. that. <laughs> That's amazing. That's not a well-known moment because that I never turned that one into an episode. <laughs> oh my god, UPS Express. UPS. Death. Yeah. The guy Express death. That's it. Um, UPS here. was the second imposter. <laughs> on, on, uh, that note, <laughs> on, on that note, y'all take care and enjoy the rest of the QA. I gotta go to work. Bye bye. Oh, <laughs> no. no. Sparky Raptor. Together, I'm Vince. Stick around he for shall like be one missed. more. And then I also have to go to work. Not like this is relevant you. information, but I'm dressed in a pumpkin costume right now. <laughs> oh. I needed to know that, but uh, me and my pumpkin costume gotta go in maybe five minutes. We got like uh, <laughs> 15 minutes left on the Q&A here, so we'll All see. Right, so let's yeah. get another question going we forward. Work. We do have <laughs> another text question from Angel Rose. They ask, what, um, what is some of your favorite things you have to have done on both channels and off the channel? Uh, on both okay, channels and off. Uh, one, one of my favorite things? Uh, I don't know. I think, it's just, I think it's just mm -hmm. kind of fun whenever I manage to get the squad together to do one of our recording sessions because it can. it's really, really difficult sometimes for everyone's schedules to align right where you get everyone all together. But like, it's such a joy just to have everyone like in the same spot. And these guys are like, they're so funny. They're so cool. And uh, it's like, you know, even though we're doing like a performance and I've got to help like host a thing, like it's just fun to talk to everybody. And they're so freaking funny. I like I cry laughing when everybody gets together. It's really good. <laughs> oh, precious. Nate, go. Speed. <laughs> uh, my favorite on and off. Let's see for on Ovas. My favorite things are just 
I'm getting to yell. <laughs> <laughs> those moments I get to yell at my absolute favorite. You don't get many of those. So when they come, I like to savor it. Uh, off the channel? Mm. I like doing uh, a lot of the improv stuff with uh, Canon, the Ass of Sonic Heroes and stuff like that. Because we're just, we're basically just hanging out and being goofs. Just being stupid. <laughs> um, that makes it really fun. That's a lot of, the, a lot of stuff. And like, um, voiceover and other projects, some exciting stuff I'm waiting to come out. That's probably going to be coming out in a few days within the next month or so. Uh, lots of really, it's just fun to watch it all come together at the end. I like watching the stuff and uh, once it's all put together. There you go. Yep. All uh, right, for me, on the, on the channel, once again, screaming roles, be it Ash or my D&D character is great. Off the channel, Using voices in real life at work, and particularly male voices, because I, because then I get misgendered a lot, and it's a lot of fun to confuse people. There you go. Sush. <laughs> <laughs> Me. Uh, on channel, Huey noises. Not even talking, just oh. noises. Just the baby, the baby just, noises. Just baby noises. <laughs> Uh, and off channel, I just like hanging out with my friends and playing chaotic games where I hear Shnun make weird noises. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Her reactions are like top tier. Oh, oh yeah. Anytime, more. anytime you startle <laughs> like Shnun when she's uh, like playing a game, she makes the best screams. Good lord! <laughs> <laughs> like Shnun, <laughs> unpack that. It's like say it louder for the people in the back. <laughs> all right, she, she's say already enough. screaming. <laughs> James, uh, villains. Anytime I get to be an evil villain. It doesn't matter Google. what it is, as long as I'm a villain. <laughs> you don't get all... <laughs> I bet you have a lot of fun playing Infinite. <laughs> <laughs> just villains, just, just in general. <laughs> in Infinite is has become a basket case of like just insanity. <laughs> <laughs> He's just lonely and misunderstood. I yeah. remember your debut with Infinite on one of the previews at the Sonic Heroes. It was pretty amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I was so nervous then. <laughs> You're precious. Um, we love you. <laughs> well, if it was stable for a little bit during, during that age, we just shadow. <laughs> that was our debut. <laughs> that was anything that was anything that true. stable that relationship. True. Uh, that sounded pretty well, stable actually, to me. <laughs> Infinite did have an appearance in Ask a Sonic Heroes prior to that one. I think that was the second time. And then Infinite just like chose violence slash trolling on that one. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's also married. Done this recording he's session. <laughs> Aww. That's great. Quote, quote unquote happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, happy. Thank you till you make it, right? <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, I mean, uh, at least um, they get tax benefits. That's very true. <laughs> <laughs> that's very true. Uh, Chris, you want to bring up one of our last uh, re uh, speaker requests up here? Oh, yeah, let's bring up. Uh, let's bring up the uh, Dragon Cat. All right, Dragon Cat Rosie, come on up. <laughs> Welcome. Hello. 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 Welcome. Welcome. Uh, oh, thank you. Um, it's happy. Uh, <laughs> just, I got confused. Great. Right? I hate you're when, good, you're when good. I try to talk, my words just like jumble all over mm -hmm. the place. <laughs> but okay, uh, I have a, I have a good question for KN and um, all the other voice actors because you mentioned about Among Us earlier. I do have a particular question about that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, what, is, what is your best or your funniest moment you recorded on Among Us on the Ark? There's no way I could recount that because <laughs> I have been rewatching the series and like because you know I, I watch things on the treadmill and it's it's topical now and it's just I'm over there laughing on the treadmill everyone at the gym thinks I'm a freak. <laughs> but I was, I was just watching one of the ones that were that was not an episode like I didn't make an episode out of that one where like Mario freaking killed like Shadow in front of everybody but because they were stacked no one saw who did it and because of that moment everyone slowly because of their panic started voting off 
everybody but Mario. I was so sure oh that it was not God. Mario. Ah. It was horrifying. So, I bet it was. It's just they're they're I, all so good because partly, like I was saying before, a lot of like even though we're in character, it is like an opportunity to just kind of like hang out with my friends. So like, there's just too many good moments to recount on there. And like, uh, we haven't had like Tails doll like from a uh, musical sushi on the show in a long time, but like. That poor, that little that little dude was crazy. It was great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I already know. Silence. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. I will never let go of the one episode where Espio figured out the murderer at the very start of the uh, episode, and then no one believed him, and then he died, and then Dang. everyone else died. <laughs> it was so bad at the beginning, also because we didn't like. Uh, like especially with me because my the footage was all from my character's perspective like so i forgot how the game was played a lot and so there was like one point this might even be what you're talking about nate like i li- like i literally saw you do the weapons uh but i forgot the next round so i was like oh yeah i don't know it could be spo and then we killed you <laughs> Yeah, that was, that was so unfair. <laughs> and so you're being like thrown out the airlock and we're like, yep, we got him. It's Tails Doll, it's Tails Doll, no. Like, I'm just, just doing my sitting task. there, sitting there, guys? just like, it's so obvious. How can you not tell? Well, speaking of which, there was a, oh gosh, there's just too many good moments to recount from there. There was one where, um, Nate and Vince as uh, I think it was Espio and Grounder they were extremely sure it was one or the other because of circumstantial evidence and so we like vote off Vince and he's screaming it what it's Espio he killed the bee he killed the bee <laughs> and then it wasn't him and then just you just hear the legitimate shock in Nate's voice when he's like but it wasn't Grounder but I thought I saw and so we kill him <laughs> Like, it just evolves into that a lot of the time. We get confused and we just kill each other and the imposter doesn't have to do anything. <laughs> yeah, it sounds about right. Although I will say one of my favorites, and Nate, you may or may not remember this, is when you fumble the kill as Espio. It was so obvious. We start the meeting. And as we were pointing out the information, I believe it was uh, Rouge as uh, Kayan as Rouge. And then it was just... Espio? Yes. You got some... What do you have to say for yourself, young man? I remember that! That was a good one, too. <laughs> I remember that episode. And that's also where they like, I am a good boy. I am a good person. <laughs> yeah, <Came> for infinite. <laughs> and that became like a line he's just kind of known for now. <laughs> and from like the Princess Murder Club. <laughs> the amount There's of meme one. material from Among Us on the Ark is just perfect. I do mm-hmm. remember that infinite accidentally got, um, hit from behind when he was trying to uh, show where Jet was hiding. <laughs> oh, jeez. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Was well, that, was when, that was one of the times when uh, when we were playing Imposter Tag and Peach was the killer, and she was trying not to kill Infinite, but he got in the way and got killed. <laughs> and then you just hear Dennis as Jet just, like, laughing hysterically in the background as he flees the scene. <laughs> There's so much chaos so much in the series. <laughs> <laughs> It's turning the dumb up to 11. <laughs> it's also where some of like Shannon's best screams have come from. Like you just see the For imposter real. running up to like her as Charmy. Wasn't there doing a compilation? And you just, yeah, Nova Road, who I think was, I think they're here in the chat down there. I think that's Nova Road. They made like a uh, compilation of the, <laughs> of a, a bunch of the screams from like a few of the episodes. That was freaking funny. <laughs> That to the tune of Can Can, I honestly was so surprised. <laughs> <laughs> it was so perfect. Like you'd see that out of like a Saturday morning cartoon bill. And yep, Nova says, yep, it was me. Perfect. Yep. <laughs> I thought that was Nova. <laughs> there you go. All right. Nick um. Oh, no. There it was. One more for the road right there. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh golly. Moving well, on. <laughs> what do you mean moving on, mate? I'm sorry to run slightly soon, but I gotta go. Me and my pumpkin costume gotta hurry off to work. Completely understandable there. Thank you. I'll be back again at three. Bye, guys. I'll be back. <laughs> Bye, Kayana. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thanks for joining us, uh, Kayana. I was about to say Nate, but you're still oh here. Oh my god, that's the second you. time you've said my name instead of somebody else's. Thank yeah, you for the yeah. question, Rosie. <laughs>
Well, That's we are a great question. Much, Thank you. We are pretty much in the wind down portion of this. Uh, I believe Shannon, you had something you would like to uh, show show the class. <laughs> show the class, okay? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I figured I had a uh, let's see how am I phrasing this? Yes, a teaser for the episode that's coming out today from you and Mewtwo. I figured we can just go ahead and show a little teaser of that it's uploading to my personal channel now. Hopefully, it doesn't screw anything with the copyright. And that should be <laughs> fine. Now, see how I can show it. It's it actually oh, okay. Yeah, it's a little bit fiddle. Has anybody else's YouTube been breaking, by the way? Like, you tried to open a video and it's just a black screen? Nope. I've had that. I've no? had that a few times. You've had that? It's way too much. <clears throat> but, yeah, that uh, too. It's been just breaking on me. I don't know why. And it's strange. My YouTube's been fine. Your YouTube's been fine? Okay, yeah. then here. I'll send this to you then. I'm just going to make it unlisted, and I will share it to you so you can screen share. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Uh, let's see. All right. Copy link. I promise we're professional. I promise. <laughs> of course. I mean, I literally just asked you the question because I just exported it. So there we go. We're we're like Batman. We're professional when we have prep time. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me get that set. There we go. Let me get Make sure the that applications share, Nate. Of course. Applications. Eminem teaser. There There's we go. The whole episode on accident. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't have access to the whole episode. No, you do not. Here we go. Right. Let's turn that up. You all ready? Yeah. <laughs> it's buffering. It's buffer. Oh no. Oh, no. Keep a, oh no. That's not part of the video. I promise. I didn't put that's... it in the green screen. No, this is part of the video. <laughs> yeah, let me try if you can send me the link. Let me try. Let's we'll see if that works any better. Yeah. Take a look. It's like you took the call. <laughs> he left the oh, call. Hey. Okay, bye. Hey. Bye. Are you still alive? <laughs> I am alive. Oh, it's working now. You can do oh, send it to now? me in the <laughs> I leave it in. It starts working. Uh, <laughs> all right. Pop it up again, Nate. Here we go again. Hi. All right. Let's do this. <laughs> Take two. Well, the odds it stops after we hit play. <laughs> it better not. <laughs> All right, here Start we go. Let's see. Beginning, Nate. All right, take go. it from, the, from the top. And there we go. You can't give me half Is the audio to myself. Feel? You always feel like you have to be glued to my side. Why? Can't you function alone, or at least bother someone else? Because I will break you, Uncle. Everyone can be broken with time and patience. You can't keep going on living your life behind an emotionless mask. You'll come around soon enough. You'll show me affection, and you'll be more open with your feelings. This is all part of my plan. You break and open up to me. They always break when oh, I gosh. have a cute face. And that's the teaser. There it is. That's <laughs> not scary at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so good. so good. I didn't even see that. That jump scared me. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Actually uh, done. All right. Well, thank y'all, Ovas family. I appreciate it's y'all by here, Revo. Uh, Great to see y'all again. We appreciate you. <laughs> You're breathtaking. <laughs> You're breathtaking. No, you You're all breathtaking. You're all I like brushing my teeth, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Viewers like you. Oh, thank Viewers you. Viewers like you. <laughs> I'll be linking. There it is. I will be linking a link to Ovas' channel there in the Chrono Stage Room text. Go give them a holler. Guarantee you will not be disappointed. I can definitely vote um, for that. Coming up next, we've got the uh, Sonic Setting M Rejuiced panel coming up. So I hope y'all can stick around for that. But uh, till then, Ovas, appreciate you. As always. Yeah, take care. Perfect. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Bye -bye, Take care, everybody. squad. <laughs> we'll catch you. Bye-bye.